Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create 2D section for the drawing. First of all I'd like to show you how to create the section based on the datum plane. So if you jump to view you can select the drop down menu from the section and select the planner. Then the system asks you to select the datum plane or reference plane and you can change the name of the section in the properties tab. If you would like to deactivate, you select the right mouse button and deactivate. Then the second option here is that you miss the datum plane, for example for the hole. So it's really easy to create the datum plane based on the axis and reference plane and you can select parallel or normal to select the reference. In the properties again you can specify the name for the datum feature and then based on this datum feature really easy you can create again the section. The section is possible to finish or you can change the offset value from reference plane or you can visualize the or highlight how the system will show you in the drawing. So here is the example how you can move really easy and or specify the zero offset and come from OK. Again you can change the name in the model tree or deactivate the selected section. If we jump to the drawing, first of all it's necessary to create the drawing view. If you would like to know more about how to create the drawing view, please check the previous tutorial for the drawing from my YouTube channel. I'd like to create more than one general view, so it's really easy to create and align based on the existing one. And then I'd like to select right mouse button and add the definition and over there if you select more than one view the system automatically jump to the driving view. You can specify for example that display style is no hidden and tangent edges will be again none. This preferences is possible to specify by DTL file for the drawing with configuration options. If you select double click for the selected view you can jump to the section and then over there is the possible to add to the cross section. The system allows to you to choose the possible section for selected view and over here for example section A and in the second example I will select double click section and to the crest section and with plus button you can select really easy the section B. You can see here that right now the system creates the full section and what we miss is the information about the possible information where the section is created so really good will be to create projection view and add arrow yeah you select right mouse button and add arrows for selected view and again second view and add arrow you can see here that it's the possible to manage the visualization for the node for the for example for the arrows for from section a Right now you can see here that we have ready and we can see the full sections. On the second example I'd like to show you how to create a local section. So you can change any time from the full section for example to half section and then select the reference and around the selected reference create a snap line. The system create it automatically. So only select the point and then create a snap line. If you would like to add the another view, no problem, you can create local view or full view and the system will combine this view all together in the one view. If you come from OK, sometimes maybe it's necessary to change the orientation of the X section, X hatch and you can really easy specify the angle or spacing. Yeah? For example, a couple of times to select a half and the system change it for you. 
Yep, come from done. And over here you can see that was a quick example how to create a view, full section view and local section. Thank you. Bye-bye, Vladimir.